very surprised that I had never heard of this place before. Kampot, Cambodia. Just a little slice of paradise here, sleeping in this lovely day bed in front of the river, eating really good food, having the most perfect weather. So Kampot itself is in the south of Cambodia. The town site is only a population of about 60,000 people and in the province itself there's only about 700,000 people. Where we are right now is a little bit outside of the town site. It is this resort called Sabai Beach. It is absolutely beautiful, would highly recommend. But if you are looking to be in the actual town site with all the restaurants and shops and everything, that's about a 20 minute drive from where we are right now. <laughs> so here we are in front of one of the main landmarks of the city. What fruit is this, Dad? Dorian. And what's a Dorian? It's a fruit tree. Wow, okay, I was looking for more specific things, but for those of you who haven't tried it, it is considered to be the king of fruits. It is one of the most expensive fruits on a whole when you go to a grocery store to buy it. I don't think you can really even find it that easily in Canada, you know, that's not a really common thing that we see in our grocery stores unless you specifically go to like an Asian grocery store. Here in Cambodia you can find it quite readily, so maybe in this video if we see it, Dad, you can try durian for the first time because you've never had it before, right? I don't think I have. It's a very, very particular taste, if you know what I mean. It's kind of like a custardy, banana-like, mushy consistency. But if you leave it out for too long, as I have learned myself, the smell, the smell is on another level. It, like it's, it's like barf to me and to bite it when it starts kind of stinking like that is literally one of the worst foods that I have ever tried. But yeah, if you are here in Kampot, this is kind of one of the main landmarks of the city. It's this sort of car roundabout that is in the more downtown part of the city. In general, here in Kampot, there's a lot of roundabouts, isn't there? Yeah, there's a few roundabouts. Yeah, so that's actually an easy way to kind of keep track of where you are um, in the city by using these sort of landmarks. And from the Dorian roundabout, you know that you're basically near the water, near downtown. I think it's safe to say that the nicest part of Kampot is the riverfront, right? Yes, that's right. Yeah, whether you choose to stay downtown or up higher uh, like we did at more of a resort, I think it's really nice to be near the water because then you have the option to go for a boat ride. Uh, they have paddle boarding here. I guess you can go swimming, probably would recommend it, you know, kind of further away from the city center. But yeah, overall, this is the biggest attraction of the city and what makes it so scenic. So if you're able to, I would recommend getting your accommodation kind of near the river.
this restaurant, Rikitavi, I saw on a blog as one of the uh, best restaurants here in Kampot. And this is our second time here. So did you like it the last time that we were here, Dad? It must be all right when we come the second time. It must be all right, yeah. yeah. Obviously, I really like this place because you can sit up there and uh, get a good view of the river, but it's just a really nice restaurant to come to during the hottest part of the day as well to kind of have some shade and they have some good you know western style options as well as you know some more local kind of stuff so it really has something for everyone so we are starting things off with some lovely juices as you guys can see i got some fresh watermelon juice and dad what did you get here you got a bright colored dragon fruit with what? There's other stuff passion in there. Fruit, I think. No, passion no, fruit. no passion fruit. No, I don't know. I, don't I think know. yours had pineapple and also watermelon. Yeah, watermelon. watermelon yeah. Pineapple dragon fruit. Why yeah. don't you give that a try? Yeah, dragon fruit, pineapple, and watermelon. Yeah. Did you like that. it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Recommend it. This would cost like $12 in Canada. How good does this look, friends? I'm so glad I got this. This is called Saint Moine Chanti, I believe. Uh, but it's this Khmer dish that has some cashews, some different kinds of vegetables, some chicken, and then you get just like rice and veggies on the side. And then my dad, who is an Instagrammer in his own right, got some veggie kebabs because he's actually been going overall vegetarian on this trip. And uh, yeah, the food is really, really good here. So for this next part of the video, I just wanted to do a voiceover about two popular day trips that you guys may want to consider when coming to Kampot. The first of which is Boker National Park, which is about a 30 minute drive outside of the city. And it has some great options for hiking, biking, also a few different temples up here that are really beautiful, really old church. Uh, a palace that was used by the kings of Cambodia that is now abandoned. Lots of interesting things to see and not that far away from the city center. The second thing that I would recommend is taking a tour of the countryside and visiting the famous pepper fields that they have here in Kampot and usually that is done by Tuk Tuk. And speaking of transport, another important thing to note is that there is no Grab or Uber in Kampot. There's no Uber in all of Cambodia, but they have Grab, which is basically the same thing. Uh, so what you have to do in Kampot is just negotiate with the very many tuk-tuk uh, drivers who overall I found to give a fair price for the distances. So if you're not sure, maybe just ask the concierge at your hotel or have them book one for you. So on our countryside tour, we got to see a few different things like the salt fields that they have that technically weren't the season for harvest when we were there. Uh, we got to see this very interesting cave that I guess is older than Angkor Wat and has a very special temple that monks come to pray to on a weekly basis. And after that, we got to go see the famous pepper fields. Strangely enough, it is pepper, as in the spice, that makes Kampot super special because it is said that the best varieties in the world come from here. There's a few different farms you can go to in the area that give tours about how pepper grows and how they make it into its final form, but the most famous is definitely La Plantation. What's actually really cool about this farm, outside of it being 100% organic and pesticide free for its products, 
is that there is a very strong element of being a social project that gives back to the local community. They employ a lot of people in the area and also give them free education. So if you're looking for a suggestion of which farm to visit, I would definitely recommend this one. And that is it friends. I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you a little bit of insight of what to expect if you come to Kampot. It's definitely not as popular as Phnom Penh and Siem Reap, but I think if you are looking to kind of get away from it all and have a more small city experience, this is a great place to go. As always, let me know your suggestions in the comments if you have been here before and what you would recommend. And as always, I'm sending you so much love. I hope you're having a fantastic day and keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys.